What's going on everybody? This is Draco in here and we are back with another predictions video. Of course, this one is going to be a little different because I don't think anybody's focused on the playoffs in the NFL world right now. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But honestly, the show just must go on. I because if honestly if NASCAR can get through the 2001 season after losing Dale Earnhardt in the Daytona 500 who was one of their most no not one of their most the most loved driver of all time then I'm sure that the NFL can get through the playoffs after this injury and of course I hope that Damar Hamlin of course has a good recovery from his apparent cardiac arrest from his hit so with all that out of the way let's get to the predictions this order was made before the official schedule was announced so I'll just have to, it'll just be out of order, I'm sorry. But first up, we got the Jets taking on the Dolphins. This game, I'm pretty sure, is like Sunday at like 1 or something in real life instead of a Saturday game. But I'm going to give this game to the Jets because uh, I don't think that Skylar Thompson is good enough to bring this team to a win by himself like he's obviously a rookie third string QB that doesn't play for the 49ers so yeah I think that the Dolphins playoff run ends here next up we got the Buccaneers taking on the Falcons I'm gonna take Tampa Bay again uh I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they rested their starters but Atlanta's already a pretty bad team as it is they barely beat the Cardinals, so I think that the Buccaneers will still pull ahead of this one, even if they don't have their top wideouts in the game. Next up, we got the Vikings taking on the Bears. I'm actually going to go with Chicago for this one. Minnesota is a team that has to rest their starters. A lot of people are calling them frauds. They cannot afford to lose Justin Jefferson or Delvin Cook this late on in the season. So I feel like they're not going to mind if they drop a game to Chicago here. Next up, we got the Lions taking on the Packers. This is the Sunday night football game. It was supposed to be the last game of the regular season. It's not anymore. But I believe that this will be a very competitive game, and it will probably come down to the very very end but in the end I see Green Bay pulling off the win and sneaking their way into the playoffs it's like the Lions are a great team but the but the Packers they're playing at home and they have been red hot as of late so I think that they're going to keep up that hot streak and get a playoff spot next up we got the Patriots taking on the Bills so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Patriots for this one. I feel like after that injury that just happened, I don't think the Bills are gonna want to start any of their guys. So I feel like they wouldn't really mind dropping a game to the Patriots, which of course means the Patriots are gonna be in the playoffs according to my predictions. But I feel like if that injury didn't happen, they probably would have kept some of their starters in, but after that none of their players are going to want to play if they don't have to. Next up, we got the Titans taking on the Jaguars. This is for the AFC South crown. This is Saturday night football, unless it gets canceled because of the social media collapse on NFL. But I believe that this is going to be another close game. I feel like Derrick Henry is going to do really well for the Titans. But I still don't trust Josh Dobbs enough. And I think that the Jaguars win the AFC South with the victory 
over the Titans, and the Titans, therefore, end up missing the playoffs due to that incident. So, that means that the Jaguars, Patriots, and Packers are my picks for the final three playoff spots in 2023. 2022 to 2023, that's what I meant. Next up, we got the Chiefs taking on the Raiders. I could also see the Chiefs resting their starters. So I'm going to pick the Raiders for this game because I think that the Chiefs, they're definitely not going to want to risk putting Patrick Mahomes in for the game if they don't have to. I mean, they're going for the one seed, but if the Bills are resting their starters, then they're likely going they would know that they're likely going to lose. So I feel like the Chiefs will rest their starters as well and keep the one seed in the AFC. Next up, we got the Panthers taking on the Saints. I'm going to go with the Saints for this one because neither of these teams are in the playoffs anymore. So really, it just comes down to which team is better overall. And the Saints have just looked like a better football team lately. Unless... Steve Wilkes has a good game against the Saints, but this time it's in New Orleans. So I think the Panthers just lose this game just to improve their draft position. Next up, we got the Cardinals taking on the 49ers. I'm still going to pick the 49ers for this game. Like, they don't have a possible backup QB. So Brock Purdy, you might as well just go out and do whatever you want because... I think that even with your practice squad receivers and running backs, you could probably still beat the Arizona Cardinals. Next up, we got the Texans taking on the Colts. I'm going to go with the Texans for this one because, like I said for the other game, the neither of these teams are in the playoffs anymore, so they really don't need to do anything. So I think that the Texans end up winning this game. But unfortunately, and they still get the number one pick as well because Chicago wins their game as well. Next up, we got the Giants taking on the Eagles. The Eagles are still going for the win in their division, so I think that they're going to go all out in this game, even if they don't have Jalen Hurts. But, but even so, I think that they will still manage to beat the Giants because the Giants will likely be resting their starters for the playoffs next up we got the rams taking on the seahawks this game really won't matter in the end but i think the seahawks are going to win because it's going to happen before the packers lions game and the seahawks are still going for a playoff spot so i think that they're going to go all out and win this game anyway against the rams next up we got the ravens taking on the Bengals. I think this will be a Bengals victory. Honestly, it's a victory for all teams, as long as another player doesn't get another life-threatening injury in Paycor Stadium again. Like, seriously, what is it with that field? It's, it's cursed, I'm telling you. Next up, we got the Chargers taking on the Broncos. This will be an easy Chargers victory, I believe, even though the Broncos probably still could win this game because the Chargers will likely be resting their starters, but... But still, the Broncos are bad enough that they really will still lose to the second team on the Chargers. Next up, we got the Cowboys versus the Commanders. Same thing as the Eagles. The, com the Cowboys are still going for the division, so I believe that they will do everything they can to beat the Commanders, who are already out of playoff contention, so there's really no need for them to try anyway. Might as well lose for better draft position. And the final game of the weekend. This isn't actually the final game that's going to be played in the weekend, but it's the final one on this line. It's the Browns taking on the Steelers. The Steelers have been red hot. They're looking for a playoff spot, even though in the end they don't get it according to these predictions. But they will still go out and beat the Cleveland Browns, who have looked like... Actually, they've been better than they have for most of the year. I feel like as of late, they just destroyed the Commanders. Yes, the Commanders had Carson Wentz in, but I don't think the Browns have destroyed a team 
in a long time. So, yeah. I think that that's a win in itself for Cleveland, but they will drop this one to Pittsburgh. And there you have it, guys. There are my predictions for week 18 of the NFL season. Of course, unless they get canceled because the media is freaking out. But uh, I don't think they're going to get canceled. So that means that we're still going to have these games played. So that's going to do it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.